Eighth Blackbird, Third Coast Percussion, and Friends. Music for 18 Musicians by Steve Reich. Eighth Blackbird's been going since 1996. A ragtag bunch of six undergrads met at Oberlin College. The director of the New Music Ensemble there, Tim Weiss, grabbed six of us and said, hey, will you guys go learn this piece on your own outside of regular rehearsal time? And the six of us said, yeah, that sounds great. Over about a year, we shifted personnel a couple times. Then we started entering some competitions, did well. We said, hey, what do you all want to do for a career? And everybody said, well, let's try this for two years. Two years became three, three became five, and then five became 15, and we're still doing it. Our mission has just been to, to put forward performances of, of whatever kind of music is appealing to us at the time, usually new music, stuff written within the past five, 10 years, and make those performances engaging and relatable to almost any audience that would want to come. I think that there's something incredibly unique about the way they both approach music and approach performing. The energy that I felt with them on stage, it just felt like it clicked on stage and that the energy was great and also the energy with the audience, which is something that I haven't felt uh, for a long time because I've been playing in a pit orchestra for the past three years. So it was something that was incredibly attractive to me. We play it with conviction and we, we're trying to make the audience feel like they are a part of this process, a part of this dialogue. It's not about them getting it, it's not an intellectual thing, it's more an emotional dialogue, an emotional reaction to what's happening in the present moment. And that's what, we, what we've been going for for 15 years. The best way of saying what we do is sort of, we do classical music with a twist. Music in the classical music tradition, but by living composers. But we try really hard to bring a, the reflect the crazy diversity of all of the sort of music that is out there at the moment. Steve Reich is a perfect example of a composer who brings a whole lot of different diverse elements together. The music of uh, Balinesian gamelan, West African drumming, classical chamber music, a little bit of a rock aesthetic. I mean, Steve Reich is one of the country's most venerable musical figures in any genre. He's been so influential on the world of classical music, but also in the world of rock music, on film, on theatre. He's just a, he's the grandfather of, of so much that goes on now in the musical life of America. One of the challenges of this piece is it is um, both a huge work for many players, but at the same time it's almost a very intimate piece of like chamber music. So there needs to be so much attention always to everyone else. So I'm actually looking constantly at different people and everyone is doing that. It, one of the great things about this piece is it's just this w amazing celebration of communal music making. We met Reich I think for the first time uh, at a music festival in Cincinnati uh, called Music X and Lisa our pianist kind of struck up a really good relationship with him. She was playing his piece Piano Phase. So she just kind of kept following it up and saying it would be great if you wrote us a piece, great if you wrote us a piece over four or five years and then finally said sure I'd love to write you a piece. I want to double all your instruments so can you play with the tape of yourselves or with six other people and we said fine and we got this really great piece out of it. This was commissioned by 8th Blackbird in 2007. Well, th that piece made such an impression uh, on folks who heard it in New York and all around the world that Steve Reich won the Pulitzer Prize for Music in 2009 for the piece that you're about to hear. It does take a lot of concentration. In double sextet, there's just, it's going by very quickly and the rhythms are never in a regular pattern. So you just kind of have to get in a zone where you're just counting and you're really present in the moment and not just in the moment meaning 30 seconds, but in the half second that it takes to play any one measure. Um, don't think ahead too much. Don't think about what just happened and just stay on the, the pattern you're on. I think when you get there, um, it kind of it becomes more comfortable, but it takes a long time to get there. I talk to especially non-musicians, and I, I talk about this kind of music, I say it's really fun, really driving and rhythmic, 
Uh, it doesn't have a, the typical kind of melody that you would expect, but instead it has these wonderful chord changes where the harmonies kind of support one another and, and change in really satisfying ways if at a slightly slower pace than we're, expect than we're used to in a pop song. I have felt so much support from this ensemble, and it has really, I have grown to be the person I am through the time in this ensemble. I mean, both as a violinist and just as a man and as a friend and everything. So leaving, it feels like kind of closing the book on a wonderful, wonderful chapter in my life. I wish them the best. Um, it's been a wonderful time to be a part of this ensemble and I'm really, really grateful that I was able to be a part of it.